We've already heard tonight the, uh, the word sustainability used a number of times, and I'd like, to, I'd like to unpack that word a bit because it has become such a buzzword. It's so popular, and it's being kind of stretched to mean lots and lots of different things. So I, I think we'll start with looking at that word and, and what it means. The, the really the classic definition that's being used a lot is in, in the phrase sustainable development, which, which the United Nations, their, their definition of it is, is sustainable development is, well, you can read exactly what's up there, but it meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of the future to meet their own needs. And when I read something like that, the word that really jumps out at me besides sustainability on there is the word needs and the order in which these needs are given. Meet the needs of the present, and then we meet the needs of the future. I mean, how do you know? You know, how do we know that meeting our own needs is going to leave enough for the future? And what is a need? You know, I think that's, that's really the, the big question there. Like, I need, you know, I live in Portland, Oregon, right? So I need my Starbucks half-calf, quarter-inch of foam, soy, chocolate sprinkles on top. You know, I mean, okay, I need that. Or, you know, okay, all right, all right, we'll be a little bit more serious about it. When I talk to my friends who, who drive great big cars, and, you know, I know that they know better, or they know what the effect of an enormous vehicle is, I ask them, okay, so, so what do you, you know, why? What, why are you driving that? And they say, I need it because I run the carpool at work. You know, I need it because I have a big family. I need it because my kid's in a band and I've got to fit all of her equipment and the band members in. Or I need it because I don't feel safe in a small car with all these big cars around. So that word need is a really slippery one. I mean, how do you define what we need? You know, or, or Agricultural people need large families because this is their labor force for the farm and it's their security for the future. So even though I think, you know, I think we can all agree that what the planet needs is smaller families, or we need an air conditioner because it's hot outside. So if you live in Houston or well, anywhere that gets hot, well, we need an air conditioner because it, it's hot. So the word need is a really malleable word, and so to define sustainability in terms of meeting needs, I, I don't like where that goes. I don't like the leeway that it gives us to say, well, this is what we need, and now the future gets to meet its own needs after we're done meeting ours. So I'd like to think of sustainability in a little different way, that I think of sustainable as the midpoint between things that are degenerative in other words, things that break things down, things that pollute, things that destroy, things that damage, which is most of, well, many of our activities. A midpoint between degenerative actions and regenerative activities. And nature, of course, is the ultimate model of regenerative, things that make things better for their having been there. And sustainable is simply the middle. You know, sustainable, another way of thinking of that is that it's something you can continue to do it indefinitely given the resources that are available. I guess that's really the typical operating definition of sustainable. But because we are in the degenerative side of things so much, we really need to be moving from sustainable to regenerative activities. I mean, sustainable, it's not all that great. You know, it just means you do it over and over again. If, if someone said, how's your marriage? And you say, oh, it's sustainable. <laughs> Okay.